Greetings and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make this fabulous pizza. I say fabulous, I haven't tried it yet, but I made the same thing a few days ago and I can tell you it was very, very good. So um, the thing that I want to say before you watch this, if you're not already familiar with my biscuit recipe, please go watch that video first because that's the base of this. I'm not going to show how to make that again. Uh, this is just going to be about, you know, how I bake it from there. So I will put the recipe and the ingredient list underneath this video, just so you can have that handy. This is gonna be a little weird. I actually have, my pan is upside down. It's a little wet still. Anyway, I put the pan upside down and I put my mat on top of it. I don't think it needs the butter. I'm just adding butter for flavor. And kind of flinging it everywhere because that's how I roll. Now I'm going to take half of the dough. I made this exactly the same way as I do the biscuits. The only addition was an eighth of a teaspoon of garlic powder. I'm actually going to take another one and flatten it out. I'm going to roll it out some. I want it to be pretty thin. That looks pretty good. You can just kind of shape it a bit. And then roll it just a little bit more. That will do it. Uh, another change that I made is I'm baking it at 425 instead of 350 this time. And I mean, welcome to my kitchen where I create mad science. Let's see what happens. So this is after seven minutes at 425. It's nice and dry. Um, ooh. Look at the underside, that looks really good. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna transfer this to something else. Give me just a second. Turn the pan over, don't forget that it's very hot. And I put the pizza on a cooling rack because I want the heat and the air to still get underneath it because that's one of the things that uh, bothered me about this was while the crust holds together very well, it's a bit too soft, so I was hoping to get it a bit more crispy. So let's see. I'm gonna brush around the edges of this with some butter. This is my some of my homemade uh, tomato sauce or marinara, whatever you want to call it. I don't have a recipe for it yet. Um, I don't have the numbers worked out, but once I do, I will post it. I will say um, this is not as pretty as I wish it was, uh, but you know what? I will go with what one of my favorite channels, the girls always say, uh, Keto Twins. They're always like, oh, it's it's rustic. So yeah, love you guys. Um, and mine's rustic too. I think I'm going to make this one be, um, what do you call it? I'm going to throw some ricotta on here, a little bit of garlic powder, and some basil. Best ricotta in the whole wide world. No, they don't sponsor me. If you add too much, it gets soupy. Good gravy, this is a mess. It's gonna be a delicious mess, but a mess just the same. A little bit of garlic powder. Ooh, that was too much. A very garlicky corner for someone. Pepper. basil. I never measure the mozzarella when I'm putting it on, so you just, you add what you think looks right. 
I'm not sure how long this is going to take to bake, so I'll wait till after it's done and then I'll tell you how long I baked it for. So that took 11 minutes. I was hoping for the cheese to get bubbly, but considering how brown the edges are, I thought I'd better take it out. But it looks, it's not as firm as I want it to be, but I think it's going to work out just fine. I'll let you guys know in a few minutes uh, when I go to taste it, though. I brought my mama in here to also help with the taste testing. Do you want a smaller piece or do you want a whole piece? All right. So, um, this was a trick I learned from my Italian sister-in-law. They always use scissors to cut their pizza. So I tell you what, I'll cut this in half. It's half for you, half for me. Hmm. Hmm. Man, that's good. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> There's a little bit of layers in there. Um, and you can see it holds up. Like, you can pick the piece of pizza up. I don't know if I've ever made keto pizza that you could hold in your hand like this. Oh, my goodness. That's you usually really eat it with a fork. Yes, you usually <laughs> eat it with a fork. But this is great. Like, look at mm -hmm. underneath. It's nice and brown and toasty. Around the edges, it's toasty. I'm going to take another bite. Mmm. All right, anyway, mm -hmm. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you try the recipe. I'm very interested to see what you guys think. Thank you, and have a good day.